topic, the one last question I want to ask is, you know, uh, you came in here, you hadn't heard anything about synthetic biology. Um, when I gave you a little information, there was some interest and hopefulness about it, but that was really right next to a lot of concern people had about unintended consequences. And um, I'm just trying to get sort of where you net out in terms of are you more optimistic about the benefits here? Or are you more concerned that the drawbacks or the consequences are going to outweigh the benefits? I mean, I think it's I think it's science science and technology together is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Right in our medical community now, it's just so much good things going on. Mm -hmm. So I will never rule it out. You know, I I was positive when I first walked in here because I know they're not going to do anything to definitely harm us. If anything, it's going to improve. Okay. And I don't know what's so funny, but go ahead. You say you're. No, you're no, no, no. I'm just here trying to figure out how I feel. No, no, no. It's <laughs> no. Well, go ahead. But I just I I think it's a positive. You okay. know, and and when I first walked in, I, I figured it was a positive. Yes, things can go bad. Yes, so we can have we can have mad scientists. That's why we need watchdogs. <coughs> you know. Nora, what about you? Um, I, I'm still feeling we need to continue to grow and advance, um, but I'm still feeling uncomfortable about the mm -hmm. synthetic process. To be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, I'm I'm for the research, but I think it needs to be limited to certain areas. There just has to be some guidelines, like what's acceptable and what's not, what you can mess with and what you can't mess with. Kind of like when they did the whole cloning thing, mm -hmm. it's like a serious debate, and there's certain things we we didn't go forward with, but other countries like China are doing it. Okay. In 60 really minutes, they showed like can China's you know like took cloning like a whole other level right now. Can you really research with limits, though? I mean, isn't that the whole? <coughs> no, there's certain areas research? like not yeah, weaponized, like don't use this for mm -hmm. military applications, don't yes. use this for boundaries, population control, within you know just certain things. Like it needs to be okay. like right. the practical application. Uh, overall, I mean, I, I'm optimistic about it. I'm I'm definitely for it. I mean, science has brought us this far, um, and I'm sure you know. Hundred years ago, people were doing the same thing about cars and mm -hmm. all the, you know, all other kind of things that improved, you know, our quality of living and stuff. So I definitely think there's there's a lot of good, of course, and bad. But overall, I mean, I. Yeah, I'm pretty optimistic about it. Um, optimistic, definitely. Like I'm in support of all the research for sure. Um, it's implementation is where the question comes in for me, but. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of an inevitable beast, and I'm more excited by the ride of what science is capable of, but then you have to also pay attention very closely to make sure that the things everyone's concerned about don't happen, so um, I'm still optimistic about it overall. I, I don't like it. I think I just don't trust people enough um, to, use, to use it properly and to handle it well. Um, I think it's a really cool thing, but I just I think it's going to be a bad thing in the end, and I don't think that it's our job in this world to manipulate organisms like that. Okay. Gloria? Um, I guess I'm neutral because I'm still so concerned at the same time that I'm like, okay, that's cool. My opinion is just kind of like, that sounds cool. There could be a lot of positives to it, but I mean, like Liz said, it still is, is a huge thing that you're messing with, and it's still... I would have to do a lot more research on it before I ever became comfortable with it. Okay. Barbara? Um, I'm going to say I disagree with it, and one reason is because I don't think we will ever know um, what's going on. You know, they tell us what they want us to know. The, the part, yes, this is good for this, this, and mm -hmm. this, but the bad parts we don't hear about until somebody, you know, it, it's a big outbreak mm -hmm. or something happens. So overall I would have to say I'm disappointed. Okay. Becky. I'm still laughing at myself. I still am like 
you know, I mean, my mother's had breast cancer. If somebody said, okay, you know, this is going to work for your mom. I mean, she's fine now. It was like 20-something years ago, but I'm just using her as an example. I'd have to say, yeah, 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 you know, let's do it. But it also could be misused, as you said. And so, I mean, if I had to vote yes or no tonight, I, I think I, I might keep everybody here till 5 in the morning. <laughs> and it's not a vote. It's more Oh, I know. But I'm just saying, I, I don't kinda, know. It's like... It's a fluid situation. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's a positive and negatives yeah. are there with mm -hmm. everything. When it personally, yeah. like, hits you, yeah. it, it's like, kind of yeah, easy to be, to be on that, that other side of the fence. And mm -hmm. John? I would be optimistic about almost the limitless research, but have regulation in the application and the execution. Thanks. Okay. Um. Given everything you've heard, how are you feeling about these advances in science? Um, you know, what if you went home? And you're going to tell whoever's there, you know, I went to this focus group and let me tell you, and whether you're going to tell them to be excited or be concerned or anything in between, what, what, what is it that you would say? Um, do you want to start running? Are you? Sure. Um, okay. Well, it seems pretty excited about the neural engineering part. Is there anything I can use <coughs> body for uh, the synthetic engineering, um, more so the way out helps the environment for. That. And so for the synthetic biology, it's the environment. Yeah, biology. Yeah, yeah it's for the environment. Um, and um, it's about it. I'm, I'm still, it's still positive. I know a lot more about it. So. Uh. Okay. All right, Danielle. Um, I would say to be excited that there's new advances going out, and scientists are still doing their work that they should be, and <laughs> it's positive. So eventually, maybe when we get sick, when we're older, that there'll be, um, like that. I already forgot what it's called, synthetic bioengineering. Bio, biology. Biology. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm generally a pretty optimistic person. There are some potential hazards, I guess, to synthetic biology, but I think those are outweighed by the potential gains. So I like it, and I would, I'm excited about it. I would tell my friends to be excited, too. Okay. Um, so overall, I think it's very exciting. I do think there's, there's some parts of it that we should be cautious about. And is that as regards to synthetic biology or Yeah, just, just a synthetic biology one. Okay. And in terms of neural engineering? That's just all positive. I don't think there's any drawbacks there. Except the fights you're going to have over who's going to make the profit and who's going to control the stuff. But other than that, the actual, the actual uh, progress in that development, in that area, is, there's no drawbacks there. Okay. Ruth? Mm. I'll, I'll keep an open mind because you got to be able to basically Decide on your own which way you want to go. Because right now, I'm, like I said, I'm still neutral. Well, it's a synthetic biology, but I'm for the neuro engineer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just look at, you know, when people are always donating money to all these places, you know, this research, that research. You know, it's a, it's a little bit more eye opening of what maybe one group is doing that the next one's not. You know, makes you feel a little better about where your money may be going. I think overall excited. Um, like Simone had said, uh, all for the neural engineering, but some caution for the other synthetic biology. Um, I pretty much, I'm, I'm, it makes me want to go do some more research and try to get a better grasp of it, but I would definitely want to be positive about both of them because as long as it's for good. So that's all right. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely out there. We're at the cutting edge. A lot of these things are sort of bad, but I hope it's really good. And the concerns people exciting. have regarding synthetic biology, I mean, are they <coughs> concerns enough that you would not want the science to proceed, or is it that you just want to make sure the oversight is there to address? Yeah, make sure the oversight is there. Yeah, people care.